Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So today in this particular video, I am going to discuss one very important concept related to database table design. Okay, and this particular topic is very important with respect to interview process as well. If you are applying for some data engineering or database admin related job roles. Okay, so let's try to understand what is that. What I am going to cover in this particular video is entity attribute value tables. Okay, so let us try to understand this particular concept with one example. Okay, so suppose we want to create a table which will contain product related informations what our company is selling. Okay, or on which product our company is doing business. Okay, maybe our company started with carpet. Okay, and all carpet has some unique identifier which you can consider as kind of primary key okay and they are having certain attributes or certain characteristics okay like one particular carpet has color which is maybe rose then length width and what is the fiber type okay so our company started with only this particular product so to store all the information related to this particular carpet product what we did in the initial stage we created a table which is having this kind of schema which is having id unique identifier for different carpets then color length width and fiber okay so id2 is having color as rose length as two feet width as one feet and fiber as full like that okay so for any carpet related product only we are having these four features so life is good we can use this particular table only to put the data or to capture the data and use that for data analysis in future okay but suppose after few days company started business on another product which may be paint okay now this paint don't have length width or fiber okay it has color paint also has color as attribute or feature or characteristics whatever you say that color may be this case sandy brown okay then paint has a different attribute or characteristics which the carpet don't have okay and that is type okay so this is a new key which is not available for carpet products okay and the type for this particular paint is acrylic okay and another new key or another attribute or another characteristics which this paint has but for carpet it was not present is amount how much amount paint is stored in this paint bottle right or paint container that is one gallon okay so now if we want to store these attributes of this paint then there are two options number one option is as this particular extra attributes are not available in our original table where we are storing the features information for products what we have to do we have to execute alter command and add some additional columns whatever came as new key value pair like type we have to add as extra column and amount also we have to add as extra column in this existing table or else what we can do for distinct products we can create different different tables if this schema is not matching okay maybe this particular table we can use only for storing the carpet related information and we can create another table which will contain the paint related information and whose schema will be id then color then type then amount because paint don't have length with fiber so we are simply ignoring that okay but suppose tomorrow company introduce another product in their business line then another new table has to be created with different schema right like that how many distinct products will be there that many tables will be created and which is not at all a good design right so instead of that what you can do you may be thinking that i will be executing alter command and i will add some additional columns to capture all the attributes for this paint product also so that table you can create like this way after altering the table schema maybe you have added one extra column called product type in the beginning which contain what is the product whether carpet or paint like that and then id okay id is basically unique identifier for that particular category then color length width fiber and then we added extra column type and amount to store the paint attributes as well okay so as you can see for all the carpet products here we don't have type and amount so that's why we are getting null here right similarly for paint we don't have information about length width and fiber that's why we are getting here null 
but for type and amount paint has information that's why we are getting here right so with this somehow we able to keep track of all the attributes of the paint product also but just think in future maybe we want to start capturing another attribute of paint okay maybe that is weight of the bottle okay that time what we have to do we have to add another extra column called weight and there we have to keep a track okay there are a lot of null values will be created because carpet don't have weight information or maybe some other paint category also might not have the weight information for that bottle only for one particular paint bottle we are getting the weight information so i hope you are getting the problem in this kind of table design is first of all every time a new key value pair or new attribute or a new characteristics is added with your product you have to execute on alter command and that way the number of columns will be keep on increasing that is point number 1 which is an issue and point number 2 is here you can easily see lot of null values we are getting because all the feature informations are not available for all the products that's why we are getting lot of null values right so we need some better design okay and that's why we came up with entity attribute value type table so what is that let us try to understand okay and in that particular case the table schema looks like this okay try to understand what we are doing so product type which is basically individual product maybe tomorrow company introduced another product that can be suppose brush for painting okay or something else okay so those are nothing but product type you can consider that as entity okay entity means what category we are trying to Uh, store like product or maybe company started working business on card okay so card will be an entity here in this case carpet is an entity paint is an entity okay in which company is working okay so i hope you are getting it then id what is id id is basically unique identifier for those particular products okay and then we created two columns one is attribute another one is value attribute will basically store the characteristics of that entity okay so carpet is an entity whose id is 2 if you see this particular table for carpet which is having id 2 color is rose right so color is what color is basically characteristics of carpet right so we will be putting that as key value pair so in attribute column this is characteristics of entity there we are putting color okay and then the value part is rose so from this way you can understand in the carpet category for id2 the color is rose okay similarly if you observe the first row for carpet category in id2 length is 2 feet right so length is 2 feet similarly width is 1 feet here we are keeping another row width is 1 feet then here there is another attribute which is fiber and value is wool so here we are keeping fiber value is wool okay so one row now it is expanded in multiple rows and the best part is here for the carpet related product we don't have type and amount information they are null so we are not putting that okay so obviously this is resolving the issue of null values okay not only that you just see we are not changing this table schema but still we are able to store the paint related information if you see at the end here the last row paint id4 right so paint id4 what is the color the color is sandy brown so we are keeping the key name as color and the value name as sandy brown okay paint don't have any information related to length width or fiber type all are null we are not putting that okay then again for paint which is having id4 the type is basically acrylic so we are putting that paint id4 type is the attribute or characteristics for this particular id in paint uh, category okay so that one we are giving as value part as acrylic okay and then here you can see for paint id4 the amount is 1 gallon right same we have written here paint id4 attribute is nothing but characteristics which is amount we are putting as 1 gallon okay suppose tomorrow for paint one new feature is coming which is weight okay all we will do paint id4 weight and then we can put the weight in the value part weight is basically attribute which is characteristics of the paint and the value part will store the actual weight information right so this way although for our product new key value pairs or new characteristics or new features are coming 
but still we no need to change the schema of this particular table. This is the biggest advantage in this kind of table and I hope you are getting it why the table is called entity attribute value type table, right? So entity represents the data item being described. That can be carpet, that can be car, that can be paint, whatever, okay? Attribute is basically characteristics that describing the entity. In With respect to Python, you can think attribute as nothing but key, okay? And what is value? Value is nothing but the value part of the dictionary for a key. That is basically value of an attribute or value of an characteristics, okay? So attribute you can consider as characteristics and value part is corresponding value. Okay, so that's why this kind of table schema is popularly known as EAV model, Entity Attribute Value Type Model. Okay, right, I hope you are getting it that always we should use this kind of key value pair type table if with time new key value pairs are added or new characteristics are added in our product which might not be present throughout all the product lines. Okay, so that time we can use this kind of EAV model, right? Now I am going to discuss another important concept which is suppose you are having this kind of table, okay, where column informations are there and from this table you want to get back this particular table, okay. So color, length, width, fiber, type, amount, these are basically attributes, right, which are now coming as individual columns. Now these columns we want to convert to rows like this way, key value pair we convert, want to convert. Okay, how to do that? Let me discuss. Okay, so in SQL, this particular concept where we are converting individual columns to rows like this way is called as unpivoting. Okay, and how to do unpivoting? Let me discuss. Okay, so here what I will do, I will go to Snowflake and I will first execute a database. I will use that. I am creating a product info table which is having product type, then color, length, width, fiber, type, amount, all this information. Okay, which are attributes coming as individual columns. Then we are inserting the same data what I have shown in PowerPoint. Okay, so now if I execute, see, let's start from product info. Here we'll be seeing this kind of table which is having a lot of null values. Okay, and this is not looking good. So what we'll do? All these attributes or features or characteristics of our entities we want to convert like key value pair. So color, length, width, fiber, type, and amount. All these should be coming as row. How I have shown, right? So for that the query is very simple, this is how you have to write the query, select star from the table name product info, this is the step 1 and then how you iterate in a for loop in python, that same concept you have to apply. So here we are iterating in different attributes, right, like color will be taking, length will be taking, width will be taking, then fiber will be taking and then type will be taking and then amount will be taking. All this should be coming as key, right, in row, okay. Then how we iterate in for loop in a uh, list, so for, for key in, okay. So these are basically key or we can say these are basically attributes, right. So whatever you comfortable, you can write that for key in this. Now we have to put the value part, right. So simply you can put value, okay, in simple words, okay. So value is not a key for snowflake, okay. Value is nothing but indicating this particular column name, what attribute value it will be storing, okay. If you, instead of value, if you are putting maybe uh, data, the this particular column, this particular column will be basically data, like that, okay. But for the time being, I am keeping value so that you can understand in a better way. So, we are iterating in all these columns and we are kind of converting to key value pair. And to do that, we are using unpivot function, okay. So unpivot is used when we convert columns to rows, okay, and here we are doing that only. So let's execute that. So if I execute, see, beautifully we are getting. For carpet, id2, earlier we were having only one single row. If you see, that carpet id2, we are having only single row. Now it is coming in four rows and it is showing key value pair. Color is rows, length is two feet, width is one feet, fiber type is full. Carpet don't have any information related to type as well as we don't have information about the amount, right? So those are null. So that's why unpivot is removing that. So unpivot will remove any null values if it is coming. And see, in the same table, basically, we are having paint related information also. So see, paint colored is this, and then uh, basically type is acrylic, amount is one gallon. 
so we no need to do schema change to store a new kvp okay maybe let me show you suppose i am adding insert into product info uh, values okay or maybe let me update one let me show you with an update query update product info set maybe suppose for this particular carpet i got the amount information so what we will do set amount equal to maybe 10 amount okay where id equal to 2 and product type equal to carpet right so suppose now i got the information which was not present in the beginning i got another feature for carpet which is basically type okay so i will basically simply execute this particular query and this is done and now if i execute select start from product info here you will able to see for carpet 2 here we are getting amount okay amount 10 but for other carpets okay we don't have amount information that's why it is not keeping so this is how if the characteristics of your product is changing and that same key value pair is not coming for all the products then to store it in a better way instead of putting simply null values you can store like this way okay so now you can play with this instead of key name you can give attribute a t t r i b u t e okay attribute and then here we can give value maybe value set whatever you are comfortable you can put that it will be just doing that attribute is this one and value is basically this particular one okay so i hope you understood the unpivot concept the documentation link i'll be sharing in the description box or in the comment section this efe model nowadays many companies are using in their data pipeline in oltp or OLTP system that's why i thought to cover this very important with respect to interview process as well related to unpivot function many many times in interview it is asked in especially data analyst or data engineering role so if you find this video helpful then please like share and comment subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos Thank you.